Hey guys, welcome to this episode of World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, and I'm so pleased to share with you a couple fundamental djembe rhythms. You know, the djembe is one of the most popular hand drums. You guys probably are interested in it. Maybe you have a djembe, maybe you've been playing it for a while. I'm going to show you two of the most popular or common djembe rhythm patterns. And before I get started with that, it's important that you understand that djembe rhythms are often really thought of as accompaniment rhythms in the West African musical genre from which they come. So even though some people might teach you a djembe pattern that has a certain name, like here's the djembe rhythm from Kasa, or here's the djembe rhythm from uh, Dunumba, or whatever the title is, it's important to understand that a lot of these rhythms, and the two that I'm going to show you especially today, are common across a wide variety of different rhythms or dances. So it's not so much about the name of the rhythm, but uh, where it's used and how it's used. And that's for another time. But today I want to show you two of the most common djembe rhythm patterns. And these will appear in several different uh, named rhythms or dances or songs. Okay, so the first one is sometimes called Passport. It's very common. It uses the slap and the open tones. No bass for this one. It sounds like this. Just listen and then we'll break it down. Okay, so this uses three, op three slap sounds followed by two open tones. So let's slow it down. Always practice with your metronome. Here's 80 beats a minute. Three, four. Da 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 do do da 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 do do slap 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 ton ton slap 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 ton ton slap 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 ton ton slap slap slap. So use any vocable that you want. You don't have to use any particular system of vocables, but just something that works for you. Okay, let's try it. Three, four. Ga ga da go do ga. So you have to understand that, get it into your head, get it into your mouth, your body, so you know what it is. With the reference pulse, right? A rhythm that's without a reference is just floating in outer space. We don't know where it starts or where it ends. So it's important to know where it starts, which is here. Two. Three, let's say ba 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 do do ba 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 do do ba 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 do do ba ba ba. Okay, so for this rhythm pattern, and there are many ways that you can stick or hand a pattern. When we talk about sticking or handing, we're talking about which hand you're using to play which note, right? So in this case, I'm playing right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Slap, 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 tone, tone, slap. Slap, slap, tone, tone, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. So it's almost purely alternating. There's two rights in a row. And as a general rule, you want to play the primary beats or the down beats or the stepping beats with your dominant hand. I'm playing this pattern right-handed. So most of the notes are going to fall on my right hand because this is not a very syncopated rhythm uh, or it doesn't have a lot of off beats. So the main beats, the main notes, keep with your dominant hand to the degree it's comfortable and efficient for you. Okay, so let's see if we can play Passport. Uh, Passport is a nickname, that's not an official name. Uh, here it is again at 80 beats a minute. One, two, three, let's vocalize. Ba, 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 bo, bo, ba, 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 do, do, ba, ga, da, go, do, ga, ga, da, go, do, ga, ga, da, go, do, ga, ga, da, go, do, ga. You can play with me when you're ready.
Okay, so that's one rhythm, very popular rhythm. You can swing that too if you want. There's different manifest manifestations of that that we'll cover in future videos. Um, before we go on, I want to thank you guys for joining me at World Drum Club. World Drum Club is supported by patrons. You can go to Patreon and help support this podcast uh, for a very, very small amount of dough. Uh, I hope that if you're watching these and you get something out of these that you do become a patron. I'm going for 100% patronage um, because this is how I make my living. Uh, I don't have a salary job. This is what I do. So I'm hoping that if you guys find any value, which hopefully you are in this recording, that you help support it, be a member. Uh, if you can't afford it, that's okay. But if you can afford a very small amount for each video, I appreciate that. All right, thanks you guys for doing that. All right, the next rhythm pattern is one that's also very common. You'll see this come up in different uh, title djembe rhythms. So again, if you see a rhythm and somebody says, this rhythm is called kakilambe, or this rhythm is called kasa. Um, you might see these rhythm patterns come up. It doesn't mean that they're only played in that rhythm. They, these are two very common rhythms that are played across a wide range of different titled dances or songs or rhythm arrangements. Okay, so this one uses the bass, two open tones, and a slap. It sounds like this, just listen. I'll vocalize and then I'll play it. Two, three, four. Okay, and I'm vocalizing different things because I don't want you to think that there's only one way to vocalize these things, okay? In West African music, there isn't one codified system for vocalizing rhythm patterns, so it's whatever works for you. Two, three, four. Here it sounds. down in terms of the rhythm only. I want you to clap along with me. I'm going to clap the rhythm and then you clap along or tap along or whatever you want to do along. Here we go. One, two, three, just the rhythm. different ways of thinking about this rhythm. You can think about it in common time or 4-4 time or cut time. Doesn't matter. The main thing is you want to get those two notes that come after the downbeat. You want to play those before the next beat. I'm going to show you a common way that people misinterpret this and misrepresent this rhythm so you don't do it. All right. So here's the correct way. Two, three, four. Here's the way some people misinterpret it. Here's the right way. Three, four. Here's the other way. Sometimes people make this mistake. Okay, so very important you don't let the two middle notes slide later and become uh, associated with that downbeat, the third beat. So one da da ki da da di ba ba bi ba ba. Okay, so that's something. If you, if you're not getting that right away, something for you to work on. Slow it down. Say it. Practice with your your beat, your metronome, your recorded music, whatever you want to listen to. But make sure when you start learning a rhythm and you're practicing a rhythm, 
that you do it with a pulse. All right, it's very important. All right, as far as the handing or sticking, I'm playing right, right, left, right. So a lot of rights. You can play this different ways. When it gets very fast, you might want to go to a more of an alternating handing. But let's just learn this this way first. Uh, and this would be for the kind of more slow tempos. Because as we said, you play most of your primary notes uh, on the downbeats with your dominant hand. So here it is again. One, two, three, and a four. So what happens if you have to go, right, you have to play it faster. You could go to more of an alternating, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, okay. Ah. So that's alternating hands. Since there's only four notes in this rhythm pattern, you can alternate and you'll end up back on the right hand uh, at the beginning of the phrase, all right? But for now, let's take it easy. I recommend practicing at a slow tempo, slow-ish tempo. So here's 80 beats a minute. That's slow. If you need to slow it down past that, by all means, go ahead. So let's review. Low volume. Clap and say it. Bim ba ba, bim ba ba, ga. Bim da da, ba. 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 Okay, I'll provide notation links to these two rhythms below this video. I want to thank you guys again for joining me at World Drum Club. This club is for you. So if you get something out of it, please become a patron. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. I'm Kalani. We'll see you next time. I